My name is Devran Nas. I'm born and raised in uh, Australia. And then I moved to Turkey. I'm an electrical engineer, and then I got into the building game. I build, renovate, sell. And then I came across all of these stray dogs, stray cats. Making my own team. I started rescuing these dogs, feeding them, making homes for them. Um, I have homes for paraplegic, uh, three-legged, two-legged dogs, blind cats, blind dogs. It is our job to look after them and take care of them. Seeing an injured dog can be a heartbreaking experience for many people. Dogs are companions and bring joy to our lives with their cuteness. When we see an injured dog, we want to help it. However, it is important to know how to properly rescue an injured dog. Dev and his team, who have been doing this work for years, went to help our friend upon receiving the calls. Gel oğlum. Oo. Gel, gel. Baya açılmış. Hadi gel kız. Hadi gel. Aferin. Indev knew Aferin. that he had to gain our friend's trust first in order to treat him. Bir şey yok. Bir şey yok. Hiçbir şey yok. Hiçbir şey yok. Come on. Look at that guys. It's all opened up, ripped open. It's pretty bad. She looks like she's in a lot of pain. She's got a tag as well. I'll feed him. I'll feed him. I'll feed him. Was the wound caused by a wire or by a human? Cut, it's all open. No one knows what happened. We're gonna. Tel böyle yırtmaz değil mi? Biri mi yaptı sence sizce? Tel böyle yırtmaz. Hayır, şöyle yırtar. Biri böyle de yırtmaz. Allah belasını versin. Canım yavrum, canım yavrum. Canım yavrum. Oo, şimdi oğlum burada olacaksa da neler yapardık? Canım benim. Canım ne oldu sana? Benim. Tamam be. Hı? Tamam. Who remembers Mike? Mike was in a similar situation to this one where the skin was completely ripped off and it was like about 30 centimeter open wound. This dog's kind of the same but on the bottom area and on the top of the leg. So what we're going to do, we've just sedated him, sedated her. 
We're gonna take her to the clinic. Berk is gonna start treating her and hopefully stitch up whatever he can, treat whatever he can, and make sure that um, there's no infections and that we can get her back here. This place here, this residency, really likes animals. They, they look after all the animals here. There's like heaps of animals here, heaps of dogs here. So we're gonna bring her back once she gets better. So she's not gonna stay in a rehab hospital. We'll heal her and bring her back here. Kötü kötü, altı, altı çok kötü. Bak, burayı göster. We've just sedated her. So the surgery is going to start straight away. Uh, we're going to get everything sterled up and organized. We're going to operate on her. Hopefully we can save her. She's a very beautiful dog, very friendly dog. They're saying that this happened last night. Um, we don't know how it's, we don't know who done it and how it got done. That's not our concern at the moment. Our main concern is bringing her back to life, making sure the operation is successful and making sure that we can, you know, get her back to life. That place, that residency that looks after this dog, looks after her well. She's got a lot of weight. She's a very well looked after dog. She's got a tag on her ear as well. So she's a local dog. She's a dog that people love in the area. So, um, you know, uh, they want her back. We don't want to uh, fail this. We really want this to uh, become a successful operation. It's a f over a 30 centimetre um, open wound. Very, very hard to treat the bottom area. Burke successfully closed our friend's wound after a successful operation that lasted approximately three hours. Guys, so the operation, uh, back went in. I didn't go in at all. Uh, I was just there at the beginning. Uh, it took three, two and a half, nearly three hours. So the clutch thing is, I'll show you better. I think it's like so there's over 200 stitches here. Um, he hasn't counted. There's stitches on the inside. This is uh, retreating the wound now. Um, she's on her own antibiotics as well. Uh, she's going to be on our rooftop hospital for now until uh, you know we can figure out what's going to happen with her. We hope that the stitches hold and um, there's no serious serious um, problems afterwards. It's a very light. Uh, friendly situation that she was in. The problem is time went past when um, when the cut was open. So there's a certain gap, a period of time where you know it unfortunately passed that time, uh, and that's why it was a lot harder for uh, the repair to happen. Now he stitched everything up, but there's a chance that it won't work out the way we want it to work out. It's not as deep as what we thought it was. Visually, it looked like it was very deep, but it wasn't. So, um, nothing, none of the internal organs or anything like that have been affected in any way. Uh, Bed has done an incredible job here. He has literally, you know, put this dog back together. Like, the dog was literally... So, it was like a puzzle at first. Because putting things together, you know what I mean? Like, does this go like that? Does that go like that? That's the problem. So, now that he's fixed everything up, he found out what goes where, stitched it all, and this is the outcome, stretch. So, still life-threatening risk. Uh, still, she's still gonna be fighting for her life. The stitches, he's saying that there's some places that will, may not hold, some places will, and that's the main thing. There's a certain period of time where the stitches need to hold in order for this to work. But he's saying that there's a spot here that that may not hold, and, um, we're going to do our best to see what happens. Let's hope, hope for the best. We're going to show you guys updates and progress and everything. Dev and his team emerged successfully from this difficult operation. Our friend who was taken to the rooftop hospital showed a perfect recovery as a result of his one month treatment with his other friends and was now ready to return home.
Hey guys, remember this girl here? We picked her up from the residency and she was all sliced up, blood everywhere, everything was gushing out. This is her now. It was a very successful mission, successful stitches. Great work by our team at that. Uh, she stayed with us for about a month uh, until she was like 100% now. So we're gonna take her back. She's got a tag anyway. So she's a dog that's uh, well looked after. She's well fed. Uh, she's, been, she's been murdered as well. So we're gonna take her back and we wanna see the reaction on the people's faces when we take her back. Because it's been a month and they've actually followed back to see how she's doing. Sometimes they've come and they've checked up on her as well here. So we're gonna go take her now and let's see how she feels when she goes back to her habitat. Right here. Uh, she was afraid, she was, you know, catching down. Look, look, that's her. That's her cat. She's so excited to see her. This lady always feeds her. Oh, look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Onlar da iyileşiyor. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> 